Hello Scorpio! Happy New Year! This is your 2015 forecast. It's going to be an exciting year. We've got a lot going on in fire signs. We've also got Venus going retrograde, which rules your money and your relationships. So an opportunity to rethink those. And of course, the biggest news is that Saturn is pretty much out of Scorpio. Yes, there's a short period during the year, which I shall be covering when it goes back into your sign. But for the most part, you're through it. Just to let you know, at the end of the video, all the dates that I'm discussing will appear, so you'll have something to refer to if you want it. Now, all three Mercury retrogrades this year are in air signs. So, whatever you're believing and thinking to be true will be true for you. So, if you're believing that you can make good money, then you will manifest that. If you're believing that you're not worth it or you're not really valuing yourself, maybe it's going to be harder for you to really manifest what you're wanting. So, from January 22nd until February 11th, we've got Mercury going retrograde in your fourth house of home and family and security. So this will be a time for you to reflect on um, maybe your relationships with your family, maybe something needs to be redefined, reorganized in a way. It's also a good time to reflect on your living situation, your home situation. Maybe something needs to change. Maybe you want to move from where you are. Maybe you want somebody to move out from where you're living. But certainly a reflection of what makes you feel secure in your life. How can you make yourself feel more secure? It's not always money and finance that does it. Sometimes it's friends. Sometimes it's a great career that feels meaningful to you. There's all kinds of different ways you can feel secure. And on February the 20th, between February 20th and March 17th, we've got Venus and Mars coming together. And they're coming together in Aries. So right here in your sixth house, they're joining Uranus. So Uranus being there since 2011, but Venus and Mars. So Mars is your ruler, co-ruler of your sign. And when these two come together, it's an opportunity to create peace or harmony in a particular area of your life that maybe has had some unpleasantness. So Mars and Venus, you may be able to smooth over something in the work area. It's also, Uranus of course shakes things up, but Venus and Mars bring some excitement in work. There could be a new work opportunity. There may be somebody you meet at work that you really get along with, you really feel a lovely connection to. This could also be something exciting happening with respect to the way that you use your time, the way you use your day. Maybe it needs a shake-up, but this could be a very positive shake-up with feeling more productive and making better use of your time. And it's a great time for maybe applying for a job or doing work that you never thought you'd be doing, but it's exciting. You feel excited by it. And it's a great time for volunteering and helping and doing something that really feels useful and contributing in some way. And then we've got a lovely aspect, February 24th till March 9th. This aspect happens twice this year and it's this lovely trine between Jupiter up here in your 10th house and Uranus in the 6th house. So this is really energizing for you Scorpios, your work area. There could be some good news happening out of the blue. You didn't expect it. A new inspiration with what you want to do. Maybe a sudden move to a new department or a promotion or something expanding and growing in your career area. So this could be some very good news. And March 12th to the 28th, we've got this final square, exact square. I've been talking for years about the square between Pluto and Uranus. We've got this final pass those last couple of weeks in March of that square. So here, what it's saying to you is Scorpios, um, how can, have you taken your power back 
when it comes to your work, how you do your work, what you want to do with your work. Have you, do you feel powerful and do you also feel as though you're doing something that's needed, that makes a difference? This is going to be part of this final square aspect with Pluto and Uranus for you. But after that, it really is over. March 31st till April the 11th, yippee, Venus and Mars going into your seventh house of relationships. Wonderful time for those of you who want to get into a romantic relationship. Great opportunity at this point. It's also good with Mars there. It'll make you a little more proactive um, going out after a relationship if that's what you want. It could bring a nice partnership just a nice friend into your life or even a mentor and um, Mars and Venus coming together Mars is can be a harsh energy a tough energy we know this Scorpios you sometimes have to be tough to survive you're a survivor and when Venus comes together with it, it softens the energy of Mars. So if there's been any conflict, if there's been any disagreements, this will be an opportunity to calm things down and to have things, to have peace and harmony again in a relationship, maybe an important relationship to you. And on May the 18th until June the 11th, we have got Mercury going retrograde here in your eighth house in Gemini. So this Mercury retrograde, it's, it's very important at this time to reflect on your finances, to reflect on how you use money, how you spend money, what you do with money, what you do with resources. Um, also to think about any joint partnership that you're in and also providers of services to you to reflect on those. Maybe something needs to change in that area. And it's also a good time to reflect on your intimacy, maybe a sexual relationship or your sexuality in general. And again from June 15th to 28th we get another blast of this fiery enthusiastic energy in your work area and your career. So this could be a new idea, a new business, um, just an uplifting feeling that everything can go forwards with respect to your work and career again. And here we go. So Saturn for the most part will be lodged in your second house. Okay, that is coming up. But um, Saturn has been in your sign for these last years and goes back into your sign from June 15th to September the 18th. It's not long, but it is just checking in with you, Scorpios, and saying, hey, you know, did you create the kind of groundwork in all areas of your life that you wanted to create these last three years? Did you create some kind of solid steps for your foundations, for your finances, for your relationships, for your family, your home. You know, what have you kind of put into place of a kind of a real evaluation of yourself and just some foundations. So you may just need to check your foundations at that point. But then after September the um, 18th, this Saturn comes back into your second house and stays there until December of 2017. So this is going to be a period of looking at how you value yourself, your talents, your abilities. You may study something, you may take um, a degree or a qualification in something that you've enjoyed for a long time, but you haven't really wanted to do it seriously. This would be the time to take it more seriously. Now, people get frightened about Saturn in the second house. Should not be so. Yes, it can be challenging if you've been reckless with money, then boy, Saturn in the second can really pull you in. But if you've been sensible and you are being sensible, then money can be steady. Not necessarily a fortune, but it can be steady, it can be good, and you can really establish yourself financially during this time. Create more of a security for yourself. From July 25th till September the 6th, we've got Venus, planet ruling love and re money, going retrograde. 
and it goes retrograde initially here in Virgo in your 11th house so retrograde from July 25th till the end of July just that week in your 11th house so this would be a good time to reflect on your friendships the circle that you have around you the groups of people that you mix with or collaborate with time for reflection Time to see whether something needs to be redefined or maybe just redesigned or just go completely. But it will be a time of reflection. And then after that, so for the whole of August and until September 6th, Venus is retrograde here in this 10th house. So this is a time to reflect on maybe your relationships at work, to reflect on your work generally and how much you're enjoying it. Venus is about your enjoyment, your pleasure in your life. So Venus will be asking you here, am I enjoying my work? Am I enjoying the direction that my career is going in? And if not, what are the changes that I need to make? And after September the 6th, you may be coming up with some new ideas. Between August the 8th and September 24th, we've got Mars also in this house. Um, so Venus and Mars, Mars energizing you, maybe bringing you a new project to work on in the work area. And then from, so for much of the year until August the 11th, we've got Jupiter in this 10th house. Time to take risks in the career area. When I say risks, I mean expand out a bit do something you maybe haven't done before travel somewhere you've not traveled before be ready to take a short-term assignment that looks interesting just expand this work area in some way learn more after august the 11th jupiter moves into your 10th house and stays there until september 10th of 2016. This will be a wonderful time, Scorpios, for expanding your social circle, your friends, the people you interact with, the groups you collaborate with. And it's a wonderful time for thinking about your dreams, your wishes, what you want to create for yourself and in the world. And you'll be able to take some actions, some proactive action, and maybe be involved with something that's extremely exciting. And final Mercury retrograde from September 17th till October 9th is here in Libra in your 12th house Scorpios so this is really a time this Mercury retrograde to reflect on all the things that you've been doing during the year maybe to uh, clear up some loose ends tie up some loose ends to take some time out to reflect to relax to maybe think about your past a little bit think about past events think about past relationships is there anybody you need to get in touch with maybe it will come to you through a dream or a channeling or something you start writing and it's a fabulous time for writing brilliant mercury retrograde in the 12th great creative ideas get them on paper blog share articles whatever it is and then from October 8th to November 8th, we've got uh, Venus and Mars, whoopsie daisy, going here in also into your 11th house, into Virgo, joining that Jupiter energy. This is just a brilliant opportunity. Make sure you're socializing then, um, lovely Scorpios, because you don't always socialize. Beautiful to meet new people. A romantic possibility, uh, interesting people, expanding your perspective, your outlook. This could be really exciting. And finally, from November 12th to December 4th, this Venus and Mars energy, Mercury will have gone by then, Venus and Mars moving into your 12th house. So some time for introspection, possibly an old love or an old flame coming into your life again in some way. But just a nice time to, to, to do a little bit of work behind the scenes. And Scorpios, you really don't mind doing that. And also a good time for anything developing your metaphysical side. Maybe studying numerology, tarot, astrology, anything, past lives. This is a wonderful time to be doing it. So Scorpios, the news is that especially towards the second part of the year, what with Saturn in Sag, what with uh, Jupiter in Virgo, 
and Neptune already in Pisces, that's a lot of mutable energy. This mutable energy is going to force all of us to deal with changes, lots of changes. Well, this thing and another thing and another. And if we can welcome those changes and see them for our highest good, then I think you may find that your life moves more quickly. Sometimes, Scorpios, you're a fixed sign, you get stuck. This will enable you to get unstuck. This energy will help you getting unstuck as long as you don't resist it. So I'd love to take a look at your personal chart for 2015 and help you make best use of the aspects coming. And I really wish you a happy year. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, emailing me, getting in touch. I love hearing from you. Thank you. Bye for now.